everybody, it's Alice K. Reckle House at Threshold of Hineni, and we are going to add some envelopes, which are going to be pockets basically, to our journal. And um, I want to make sure I'm completely in the, yeah. Okay, so I did a little bit ahead of time, not intentionally, but I started to video this earlier and my phone ran out of space. <laughs> I guess I've been making too many videos. So I had to figure out how to delete it and all that stuff. So hopefully we will be okay. I am going to um, set my timer for 30 minutes so that um, hopefully I won't go over 30 minutes on this. And if it takes longer than that, then I'll make it two parts. Um, so I don't know exactly what I'm planning to do yet because I kind of wanted to take you through the whole process of even deciding what I'm doing. So. What I do know is we don't need to have this out except for one little part. I want to show you that the envelopes that I've chosen are just, they're about the same size as the page. Okay, so I'm going to be using two envelopes that are that big and I'm going to use a couple of envelopes that are smaller. You can use any size envelope that you want. You can coffee dye your envelopes if you'd like to. Um, or even get like brown craft paper envelopes would be really pretty with the colors that I'm using anyway. I didn't have those and I didn't feel like coffee dyeing today because it's, it's really hot and so I didn't feel like working in the kitchen with the oven. I'm really sensitive to heat, especially during May, which is my worst allergy time. So I'm just going to do this very simply. So I'm going to set those aside while I show you what else I got out. I have some pictures that I printed from the PDF that I made. Um, for this journal and if you haven't requested that PDF and you want it, you're welcome to ask me for it. It's free. I'll just send it to you. Um, contact me privately and let me know that this is what you want, that you want the Abraham Journal PDF and send me your email address. Although I'll probably have that if you contact me, right? Okay, so I've got that and like I said, I'm not exactly sure what all I'm going to use. Um, also from that PDF, I put together some verses that I really like about Abraham. Um, I have this other, I'm not sure if that's on the PDF or not. I'll have to see if it's not, then I'll add it. I have some envelopes that I made from parts of my book. So I'm going to put those right there um, that I might use. I have some cheesecloth, some yarn, some of the fabric from our cover, and some burlap. I might use some of those. I'm not exactly sure. I'm definitely going to use distressing ink since I didn't coffee dye my envelopes. And I have these little pockets that we made in, I think it was the last video. Anyway, not too long ago. Um, I have a few of those. And then I also have some Franken paper. This one is made from this journal, from the scraps that go with this journal. And then these two are from other journals that I made. I think this is my Music and Butterflies and this was a Tennessee one that I'm still working on. But they have the same kind of colors so I thought that I would get those out just in case. And then I have um, I have some more of this fabric and um, oh and some this came in a package today from Amazon and I might use that. Probably not for this though. I'll probably use that for something else but I'm sure I'll get more. I just hadn't really noticed it before. I probably have a whole garage full of it. <laughs> anyway, so let's start out with the envelopes. What I already did on the other video was I, um, I opened up the top and then I sealed this shut. Okay, because I want it to open at the top. You can have them open up at the side and that's totally fine and you can slip stuff in from the side. The reason that I chose to cut it, and you could cut across to open it too if you don't want to, you know, if you can't slide your opener in there or something, just cut across it. Um, the reason that I chose to have at least these two and probably these ones opening at the top is because I don't really have anything coming out the top of the journal and so the cards that we put in here can have like a tab or something that'll show up off the top of the journal. So that's my personal preference. Okay, the other thing is that when they're going to be side by side, but they won't be side by side in the journal, there'll be pages in between them, but they're gonna be like this. And the reason I'm positioning them like this is because I like, I think that 
you look over at the right side of the page first. That's my personal theory. That's what I do. And so um, I, I just want to have it so that these will both come up this way. We're going to then, after we decorate these, we're going to attach them in the middle so that it'll be like a double page that will go into our signature. Okay, so I'm going to start out by doing the biggest ones first because actually that's easier to me because it has a lot more space to work with. And I think that I want to do something with this envelope here, so I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on the bottom or what, but I'm thinking about having that on there. And I don't know if one of these will fit. No, that wouldn't fit with it. Okay, so I have to kind of make a choice. So I might do this on one and do the envelope on the other or something. I'm not really sure. So we'll see. Um, anyway, so, oh, someplace here. Yeah, I, I showed you that. Sorry, I'm just like a little ditzy today. I am always a little ditzy, huh? I shouldn't just say today. I like this one. This is, I mean, that's not really lace, right, guys? <laughs> I said I was going to stay away from lace in this. <laughs> so if I use this, and you know, and you could just do a plain old envelope, okay? But I like to make as much space as I can for journaling and putting things and everything. And you won't be sorry if you have a lot of extra space. Um, and if we don't use it all up in this study, then later on, whenever you see something about Abraham that you really like, you can add it to your, to your collection. So first of all, what I'm going to do, because I know I need to do this, is I'm going to distress the edges. Okay, so I tore the top open so that I would, um, and see how I'm trying to get it like along the edge, not just not just on the very edge, but I want to get it actually on the front of the envelope as well. And I'll do the same thing on the back. Okay, so, and we'll probably be using just glue for this project. I don't know. I can't promise. I may sew something, but most likely it'll just be glue. And I think probably the next video after we finish these, this might take a couple of videos, but probably the next video will be binding our notebook. Okay, so that's really exciting. It's a little scary the first time, at least it was for me. Um, it was just a little scary. Okay, now I'm just gonna take some of this and just kind of like rub it all over, just to make it a little, you know, loved and dirty and stuff. And it's okay if it gets a little wrinkled. Okay, I want to make sure that that's staying down. It's not, so I'm going to glue that. Um, the first time that I bound something, I was terrified to do it. And then it ended, well, that's all st coming up. Okay, these are really old envelopes, you guys. So, I mean, not like antique or anything, but they're ones that I've had for years. And with the humidity, humidity around here, now these had a pull tab that you pulled up to expose the sealant, but most of my envelopes, if I don't use them within a couple years, they um, they seal themselves shut with the humidity here. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Okay, so that's sealed shut. Okay, and I want to distress it on this side too. So I think I was saying that the first time that I bound a journal, I was terrified because, you know, you're, you're making holes and they're permanent, you know? Okay, well, first of all, like Gail Agostinelli is always saying, it's just paper. If you really, really mess it up, you can always throw it away, but there's usually a fix. Okay, and, and you guys, if you mess up something and you can't figure out how to fix it or how to change it into something else, send me a video or something and I'll see if I can give you any ideas. I probably can, okay, because I'm pretty good at, like, you know, figuring out a different way to use something if I mess it up. <clears throat> so... Anyway, so I was really scared, and I didn't have an awl to begin with. An awl is like this, and I'll try to link these below because this is so helpful. The first few journals that I did, I didn't have an awl, and so I cut the holes. And, and that worked out fine, but it took me a long time to do the whole binding thing. When you use this, it seriously takes maybe 10 minutes at the most, probably not even that long. And I'm, I've only done with the all I've only done like maybe three or four journals but it's like you guys get this for your first journal because it makes it so much easier 
believe me, just like really, really easier. And, and they're not expensive. I mean, I think my husband got that and it was in a package of three for like $5 or something at Walmart. And there's nicer ones that I found on Amazon since that are wood. So I'll link those for you. Okay, so which of these do I want? I guess, you know, I wasn't, I had said that we didn't need to figure out ahead of time where we we're going to have it, but I guess in order to know what we want to have it across from, we kind of have to figure that out. So let me grab my journal. Sorry, now it's buried by all these things that I was showing you. Okay, so let's figure out where we want to have these envelopes and then we'll kind of have a better idea of what we want to decorate them with. I kind of like the idea of having it close to the beginning, having these big ones at least, or maybe the smaller ones. Yeah, I think I want to have the bigger ones close to the beginning. So that means that they're going to be right here, across from this and across from this. And we don't have anything there yet. So we can decorate these in any way that we want. So, I'm going to use one of these pockets, I think, for the very first one. You know what? No, for the very first one, I think I want an, em an envelope. And I think I want to use this. So I'm going to use this. <laughs> this is my how my thinking process works, you guys. It's a real mess. Okay? I'm going to set aside these envelopes. <laughs> I just seriously think on my feet all the time. And that's probably why I have so many problems in life, right? Um, okay, so to me, the theme of Abraham's story is this right here. Abram believed the Lord. He was called Abram before God changed his name to Abraham. So you'll find that out when we study him. Abram believed the Lord and he create, credited it to him as righteousness. And Paul quotes that in Romans. So it's a really important verse. So I want to include that here at the very beginning of my book. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and actually I don't need to do it so neatly because what I wanted to do was kind of squiggle around it make it like kind of curvy cut like this just because that's what I feel like doing today which could be because my allergies are just really Icky. So if you guys don't like that, and I'm saving this scrap, okay, I'm not throwing it away. Okay, so I'm going to put that on here. Do I like that better with this envelope? I think I, no, I like, I really like that envelope. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so I've got a verse, and I think I want to also, do I have room for a picture? Probably not, but I do have space for for a little bit more design. Okay, so I think I'm going to use I think I'm going to use this one. Okay. So this page has a lot of different it's kind of like a collage of things that have this barn red in it that I really like. Okay, so how would that look? Like underneath it? Like that maybe? And then maybe have a strip of burlap. Should we do that? Does that sound good, you guys? I need my fabric scissors for that strip here and you know as usual I'm not trying to get it super perfect or anything see how it's just kind of munched there my husband brought home this burlap for me from Walmart he likes to bring things home for me which is so sweet I just love it I love him he is guys if you've never met him he's a really really wonderful man we just we met five years ago June 6th, it'll be five years for us um, from when we met online. And then we talked on the phone to each other for five and a half months, well, for five months before we met in person. We already knew by the time that we met in person, we knew that we wanted to get married. We, we believed that God wanted us to get married. How does that look? 
I feel like I still need something more right here. Um, hmm, what else do I have? What about some of these pictures? Is there something I can cut out from them? Anyway, so when we met, oh, maybe that. So when we met, we already knew that we wanted to get married, and um, he flew me out to Maryland. He lived on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake, so it's kind of a rural area. And I brought two gigantic suitcases with me. I started to move in because we had already decided we were getting married. <laughs> what if he had decided at that point that he didn't want me? <laughs> I know it wasn't going to happen because, yeah, I mean, it's like he had said at one point, you know, if we decided to change our minds and not get married, we'd need to get a divorce because we're already so <laughs> entrenched in each other's lives. <laughs> And we hadn't met in person yet. We had talked for, I think we figured out that we had talked on the phone for about 100 hours a month and that we had sent literally tens of thousands of emails. That, that'll work, right, don't you think? We had sent tens of thousands of emails and we had Skyped a few times, not really all that many. I don't know, it just didn't matter a whole lot to us how the other person looked or anything. Skyping was more just like it was exciting to actually see each other. So that was like the closest we had come to meeting in person at that point. Okay, what do you think of that? I like that. Do you guys like that? Sorry about the motorcycle sounds outside. I live on a main street right across the street from the hospital. And there's somebody who works at the hospital who has a motorcycle, a really loud motorcycle. So anyway, they work at the hospital and I really think that hospitals are important. Okay, now how am I gonna remember where everything is? Okay, let's, oh crud, you guys help me remember, okay, everybody? <laughs> okay, so this is the first thing that I went down and it's kind of not quite centered there and it's over to the side. I could make this into a pocket too, but I'm not going to. Okay, so see how I just make a really thin line, not quite to the edge because it'll squish out some. It'll squish to the edge, don't worry. And then I run the dispenser part of it through it just to like flatten it out so it doesn't make like goobers. Doesn't make it all bulky and everything. Okay, so I think I had it like about here, right? Ugh, I hope I'm right. Okay, get these things all set out and then I can't remember how I wanted it. Okay, so I know that I wanted this, I think I had that centered, right? But I had this under it like that, and I had this kind of like that, and then I had this. Is that about right, you think? I kind of like that selvage there, but I'm not sure how well it's gonna work with this, but we'll see. Okay, so the next thing to get glued down would be this plant, so I'm going to, uh, I'm so bad at this stuff. Where is my glue stick? I haven't left you guys. I'm just trying to figure out where my glue stick is. Okay, I guess I'm gonna use this glue for it. It'd be easier to use the glue stick, but and I got it on my finger, of course. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do, just so that I don't lose my place. I'm gonna put that down there. Put glue on it. Okay, and then I'm going to put glue around here, around the edges and everything. Choo, 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 choo. There we go. Yep. Don't you like my sound effects? All right, and then I have one of my little makeup thingies that I use for blotting it so I don't get glue all over the place. And this I'm using actually to kind of push the glue out towards the edges, but then when it comes out of the edges, if it does, then it gets on the makeup sponge, which is good. Okay, now, where exactly did I have that again? Okay, so I had, I think I had this coming, oh crud. <laughs> I 
I think the whole thing went a lot lower than I had originally planned, right? But I think that'll work. Okay, so the next thing is the burlap. And I'm not gonna, I'm just going to glue the selvage, I think, and let the rest of it lie loose. Am I gonna be sorry about that later? I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, so I think it was like this. And it's okay that I've got some sticking out past the edge of the envelope because that will make the side really neat, you know? All that stuff that we have hanging out the side of the, um, the side of the book. Okay, and this will glue. This glue will dry clear, so that's not going to show. Okay, and then I want to have this here. Yeah, I did move the flowers down lower than I was planning, but that's okay. I want to have some of the. Okay, now do I want to make this into a pocket? No, I'm not going to. We're not gonna, I can make this into a pocket this direction. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put glue on every edge except for that edge. I know I kind of overdo it with the pockets, don't I? Am I doing this so that you guys can see it, I hope? Sorry, yell at me if I'm out of camera. And I'll move back in if I hear you. I gotta yell really loud though, really loudly. Okay, and I want a little bit of that sticking out the bottom. There we go, let's get it straight. Okay, very good. Okay, and again, I'm pushing the glue out, 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 so that it goes all the way to the edges of what I'm gluing. Okay, and I didn't glue this side so we can use it as a pocket, although that's going to be a little difficult with that burlap there. We may not use it, but it's available to us. And we can put stuff in the envelope, right? Okay. Then I want to put the verse here. And again, I could make that into some kind of a tuck, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to make it flat. I think we have enough going on here without having another tag stuck in there or something. I would well, no, I wouldn't. I was going to say I would use my glue stick for gluing this. I would definitely glue, use my glue stick for gluing this, that picture, because with the weird edges and stuff, it's kind of hard to glue it this way. But for this, because it's got to be on top of the burlap, and I kind of want the glue to go through the burlap to the envelope, I'm putting a little bit of extra glue on that part, or I thought I was. It's got to be this part right here so that hopefully it'll go through the burlap to the fabric. Okay. Okay, so I think it still needs something over here, which could be a button. I don't know, let's see what else we have. Or it could be another branch of this orange, um, I, I wrote down someplace what this is called, this plant that I'm cutting out here. You guys, thank you for being so patient with me about learning how to do all this YouTube stuff. Um, I know that a lot of times I do stuff that's kind of stupid, like, you know, getting out of the camera screen where you can't see me and stuff, but I'm learning little by little. Don't think I want that there. And, you know, it's, it's kind of a learning curve. For, and for me, that can be kind of a big thing. Um, so hopefully it just gets better and better, little by little, right? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> there we go. Should we stick that up there? I'm not sure I like that, actually. Maybe like that. Do you think that's helpful to have that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and again, I would use my glue stick for this because it's just easier to get it all covered, but I don't see my glue stick here. So maybe I took it out to the kitchen. Sometimes I like to sit and talk to Bill while I'm working on stuff, so I take it all out there. underneath there. 
here like that. There we go. That's pretty, isn't it? And this, since it came up enough to let me put it under there, I want to glue it down. Okay, and then I'm going to use my handy dandy little cosmetic thing here. These work so well. Okay, and glue down a little bit right here too. Let me get that glue from the side. Okay, there we go, because we just want that all to be really flat. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that down. Try to get the glue to go through the burlap. Did I even, I don't think I, oh well, I guess we're not writing on the inside of the envelope anyway, right? Okay, so how does that look? I like that. Is that pretty, guys? I think that's pretty. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to do the other one. Okay, so this is going to be what you're going to see. Oh, please tell me. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I did it upside down. <laughs> this is going to be the first one, and I've got that verse here because to me, that's like the theme of Abraham's life. All right, so I'm going to set that aside and let it dry some, and then this one will be close to the end. So... The perfect verse for the end is pray for the peace of Jerusalem, I think. Okay, so let's cut that one out. You know, and you could just do these envelopes and not decorate them at all. And you could even leave it to decorate later on while you're in the Bible study and something just really strikes you as being appropriate. Okay, so let me make sure I've got the right part. Okay, and I want to distress this. Let me wipe off my glue and put it back in my ball of twine so that it won't keep from running. Can you see that? Nope, I guess not. Okay, I've got it in a ball of twine. trash. Okay. Well, I've got it in a ball of twine that holds it up here. I'll show you. And that keeps it from all going to the bottom. And it works really well because before, even when it was brand new, I was having a hard time. Um, could, sorry, I couldn't find my distressing ink. I was having a hard time you know, getting it to start coming out every time that I used it. I mean, and even like several times in an hour, it was just really hard because it's really thick glue and it holds really, really well. I love that glue. I don't want to run out, so I'm about to order some more because I just, I'm afraid that I'll run out. But I've had this since like December or January, this bottle. So it's lasted a long time. Okay, and we're almost at 30 minutes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate this, well I was going to say I'm going to decorate it off camera. I'm going to decorate it in a separate video and if you don't want to watch the separate video you don't have to. Um, I may talk some more about Bill and me, I don't know if you are interested in hearing about that or not, but if I am just sitting here doing stuff then that's what I may do. Anyway I'm going to stop this video now and I'm going to just finish this envelope in the next video. I love you all. Bye-bye.